Saturday marked the 72nd anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. More than 2,400 Americans were killed on December 7, 1941, launching America into World War II. Veterans, military leaders, and family members of those killed gathered for a wreath laying ceremony at the Navy Memorial in Washington, D.C. And here in Rhode Island, all state and U.S. flags were ordered to half staff for the day. In a special ceremony at the State House, House Veterans Affairs Committee members honored those who fought for our freedom on that tragic day. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has more. We thank you each and every day for protecting the freedoms that we enjoy. House Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman Raymond Gallison recognized U.S. Navy veteran Daniel Hunter for his service and also his bravery on December 7, 1941. While it was more than seven decades ago, Hunter still remembers the events like it was yesterday. Five minutes to eight, when we heard all the noise going on with the planes flying low and machine gun going off. The then 19-year-old Morse code operator for the U.S. Navy, Hunter was on a base 15 miles from Pearl Harbor when the Japanese attacked. We were told to be on the alert as far as looking for, for ships, but uh, Never expected the attack that was really going to happen. Hunter says the attack itself lasted only an hour, but the U.S. Navy would endure its greatest loss on that day, taking the lives of more than 2,000 Americans. Fast forward 72 years later, and survivors like Hunter help us remember the hard-fought battle. It also reminds us to thank our veterans and never forget the sacrifices they made to ensure our freedom. It is said those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. So let us all make a solemn pledge today that we never allow this day to go by without the remembrance of what triumph and tragedy occurred on this day. Hunter, a Cumberland resident, was made an honorary member of the House Veterans Affairs Committee. Now, also during Saturday's event, there was a special reenlistment ceremony for a former U.S. Navy member who was returning for another six years of service. Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.